Today, I have one person changed my entire life in five minutes. Or less. I can't remember, was it really five minutes or ten minutes? But anyway, it was that short. But my entire life have I literally changed and it was never the same again. To, to most of you, you, you always know that. Most of you, no, 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 that I, I always talk about how going back and assure that young Munya really changed my life for well, most of the time i also talk about the woman who approached me who didn't laugh at me but she literally approached me and just tried to understand like what was happening in my life during that time and what had happened in my life before that and that conversation that's the conversation that literally changed everything for me so to today i decided to you know to actually bring her here I haven't got the savior mentality, but I just love to make sure that people aren't hurting. Because hurting people hurt people, broken people break people, and healed people heal people. I've never learned to actually have compassion on somebody because they don't know how to have compassion on their own selves. Kindness and patience is a way to show people love. And if you don't take the time to listen to people, people don't have it an opportunity to express themselves. So in your first five years, the enemy of your life wants to destroy you to stop you stepping into your destiny. I must make sure that I lead by example, not do as I say, do as I say and not as I do. Mr. M. Dongo. Mr. Dongo. Wonderful time working with Mr. G. Mr. M. Dongo, and he is a 10x person. Uh, I love your energy. He just go like boom, 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 boom. It's amazing. I always love the way this man carries himself with dignity and respect. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me Welcome, Ibrahim, to this amazing interview. Ibrahim, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm doing well. <laughs> I am really, really well. Now that we have met probably four or five years later, right? Yes, it's a long time. Long time. And COVID happened in between. Things started happening. People changed businesses. People were scattered all over the globe, and right now we are almost 9,000 miles away. Yeah. That's so great. That's so great, Bernard. So before we really jump into all this thing, can you just tell me, who is Bronwyn? I'm a person that just loves life and loves people and sees people for who they are and i just have so much compassion for people that are hurting and i just want to see everybody just be whole i haven't got the savior mentality but i just love to make sure that people aren't hurting because hurting people hurt people broken mm -hmm. people break people and healed people heal people so that's me i'm on a journey to discover my, the truth and and just to love people Wow. Head people, head people. Happy people makes everybody happy. <laughs> Held people, everybody. Wow. That's so powerful. But what does that mean? So you see so many broken people in this world trying to raise children and they raise broken children who go and hurt other people and bully other people because they don't know any better. They just judge everybody and they've never learned to actually have compassion on somebody because they don't know how to have compassion on their own selves. So if I can change one life at a time and make a difference like I made a difference for you and I had no idea all these years later what an impact we have without knowing it and just by just being kind. People don't know how to be kind anymore. Um, and patience. Kindness and patience is a way to show people love. And if you don't take the time to listen to people, people don't have an opportunity to express themselves. 
and then they have speech impediments because they feel they don't feel safe in the yeah. space that yeah. they're in, and they they reacting to the fact that they're not safe. Um, mm. And if you just take the time to make someone feel safe, you can change their whole life. If, if I'm not feeling safe, I take myself to a safe place and tell myself it's okay because this world is a scary place. Yeah. Talking about people feeling safe and um, uh, and, and, and broken people, is that, let me jog your mind a, a little bit. So I'm taking you back probably in late 2019 or so. Yeah. So we were at one of the conferences. To some of you who actually know uh, uh, from, 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 from some of my previous interviews, I shared to you about how I was volunteering in so many other events as a way of me learning what are they doing and how are they organizing 5,000, 15,000 people to actually come to those events so that I can be able to actually also do it for, for myself, like what I'm doing right now. Right now, we, we run both online and live events everywhere in the world, uh, um, and it is doing so, so well. I didn't just start it there, but I was going to the events not being paid but to just attend some of those events and I, I, I attended this event together with the Browning and that event was one of the event um, what one of the premium events by Brian Walsh it's called um, a real entrepreneur my threat levels were so high I, I was going through some stuff I was planning planning to actually move from from, from, from Cape Town to Johannesburg and I attended that event because I had volunteered to, 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 to do that but I was making a sound that was not so com comfortable it felt like something like it like some, somebody was either choking me or whatever. So every, every 10 or 15, if not 20 seconds, I would make it sound like oh. every time, you know, and that sound, it was really bothering, not just people around me, but myself. And that was now dealing with a whole lot of shameful or not feeling okay, feeling judged, feeling all these things. It was all piling and piling and piling and piling on top of that. Mm. Some people were even laughing right in front of me, like right there. They would look at me and be ha ha ha. And then they would just go, or some they would turn and be like, mm, I don't know. But then you decided to be like, Munya, can you come here? Let's talk. And you you asked me about, tell me, what's happening? Are you okay? And then I was like, yeah, I'm fine. But uh, this, this I don't even remember what did I say to you. But then you then cut me off because I was about to, to, to tell you some BS story. <laughs> okay. And then you kind of like cut me. And then you were like, tell me about your childhood. <laughs> Why? Why did you take me back? Why childhood? What happened? So in your first five years, the enemy of your life wants to destroy you to stop you stepping into your destiny. So every person has experienced some trauma before the age of 10. And it's normally a hectic trauma that will... The place where you're supposed to end up, like you're supposed to be in front of a camera and talking to people about being an entrepreneur. So the enemy that doesn't want you to succeed, there's an enemy that wants you to fail and there's a, a person who wants you to succeed and they give you all the tools to succeed. But the enemy is intent on stopping you from reaching your true destiny hmm. so he will put stuff in place to rob you of your identity to rob you of your god-given gift so hmm. when wow. you take back those keys and those things that hinder you then you have true power but the whole key is to get you to stop being powerful and this Thing I recognized in you was a thing that was stopping you from stepping into your God-given destiny. So mm. I wanted to kind of rescue you from 
the road that you were heading on, because I, I saw the people judging you and pointing fingers and bullying you and stuff, and I didn't like it. So I, I thought, well, I can either join them, do nothing, or do something. So I chose to do something and do to to make sure that your path to success is not hindered anymore. So that's why I took you back to your childhood to find out what was the thing that formed a stronghold, a lie in your mind that you were mm. believing that you um, that was stressing you out, that wasn't making you feel safe. So I took you mm. back there so that you could find that thing, address the lie, and know that you were never alone. And it was, and it's. It's actually not meant to destroy you. It's actually meant to make you stronger. So if you say, okay, fine, you've been given that thing was designed to destroy your life and your destiny, but if you take back what the enemy has stolen, you take back that power and you say, right, what can I learn from that and how can it help me be a better presenter? And um, if you can find that truth, you will overcome the the. Um, that's why people stutter because they don't feel safe. Yeah, they feel judged. They feel like the world is against them, and when you know that the world is not against you, and that you were designed for such a time as this, then you can take back your identity. You can take back your power. You can know that. It was meant to destroy you, but it's not going to have that power yeah. and you take back your God given given destiny. Wow. So like are you telling me that uh, we have so many people right now uh, who are not living their full potential because because of what happened when they are five, even though they are fifty years right now? Yes, a lot of people get stuck in the age of five. I've got somebody that's fifty five. And they're an alcoholic because something must have happened to them and they, they've they lost all their God-given purpose because they succumbed to the pain and that thing, that soul-destroying thing, and they became a victim instead of saying, I choose to be victorious. Instead, it's all about choice. Am I going to be a victim all the, my life or am I going to be victorious? Am I going to step up and thrive? and live the abundant life that we were supposed to, or am I just going to blame everybody around me? Or am I going to take responsibility? And everybody has to make that choice. Wow. You mentioned the stuttering. What else can be connected to your younger self? Is, for, for example, some fear, like somebody is afraid of something, um, not taking bold decisions or, or bold steps in their lives. Could that be also connected to their childhood? And maybe there's somebody who always pulled themselves back when they are trying to do something. Could that be connected to, uh, to their childhood as well? Yeah, somewhere along the line, they believe a lie that they're not worthy, that they uh, are not good enough, that um, Something's their fault. And meanwhile, I mean, what does a five-year-old know? Sometimes we get blamed for family drama and we had nothing to do with it. So we get blamed and it creates a pattern. All these things create a pattern in our lives. And if we don't um, go back to that thing that um, f got formed in our subconscious, if we don't sort out our subconscious, um, we will always be tripping up. Um, so wow. there are lots of programs out there to help you find out what is hindering you so yeah. that you can get control over your voice, get control over your mind. It's all in the mind, really. So yeah. the mind is where the attack is. And if you constantly keep reminding yourself of all the trauma and all these things, like I was always told I was stupid. And I actually yeah. believed I was stupid. Um, yeah. And I gave up working as hard as I could have 
and I could have done so much better at school if I didn't believe I was stupid. And then I went for an interview in 2010, and I was stupid. I should have taken the job. It was a little bit of a regret. But there they told me that my IQ is in the top 10% of the country. So just because I believed I was stupid, I didn't step into my full potential. But maybe I wasn't supposed to. Maybe I was supposed to step into where I am right now. Um, mm -hmm. So we will never know which path is the actual path that we were supposed to be on. But we can only just do our best and we can't go back and make better choices, but we can go forward and make better choices. We can choose to be better or we can choose to be better. Imagine skyrocketing your business without breaking the bank. Sounds too good to be true? Get any of the BNC International's automation packages. This is your ticket to more clients and less stress. Our services cover everything from Facebook and Instagram ads to lead magnets, funnels, and basic automation. Plus, you get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session to tailor everything to your business needs. Choose from our three awesome packages. The basic package at just $499. The growth package at $997. And our premium package at $1,499. Each package is designed to optimize your ads and maximize your results. No more guessing games. Just real measurable results. And the best part? We handle all the heavy lifting so you can focus on what you do best, running your business. Ready to transform your marketing? Click the link below and let's get started with BNC International's automation packages. Because your business deserves the best. Uh, wow. You, you, you spoke about uh, doing something and not joining other people that are doing something wrong, just like what you actually did, which ended up uh, changing my entire life. Why is that important that people ought to be either different uh, from, uh, from, from what other people are actually doing? Or why is it important, even though you are alone, to just do something better? Why not join everybody? Because literally, I think we had almost 2,500 people there, like 2,500 people there. Uh, and on, among all those people, you were the only one who approached me <laughs> and actually spoke to me in a way that I felt heard, that I felt comfortable. In a way, like, like, uh, well, we were not talking like personal stuff before that. We were, we, we just met. Our only common ground was that event. That was our own common ground. Uh, and that both of us wanted to see that event as a successful event. We were just there, had to contribute our efforts and everything else. So, uh, so it's not like, um, I was free to, uh, I was actually open to you be, uh, um, uh, be before. It's not like uh, we had grabbed the lunch before. It's not like we, we had done any of those things. But, um, why is it important that when you see something bad happening, you either can join those people who are doing something bad or you can choose a different path? Why is it important to always choose a different? Because look what your your different path did to me. I've always been like that. I don't know how to answer that correctly, but I was three years old and my mom and dad were smoking and I hated cigarette smoke. And um, I saw how difficult it was for them to, I don't understand how at three years old I knew this, but I saw how difficult it was for them to give up. So I decided right there and then that I wasn't going to smoke. And um, I've never smoked. And when the peer pressure came, I just laughed at them and said, I decided I'm not going to smoke. I've decided I'm not going to drink. It's a choice I've always made to, I don't know why, where that comes from, where I always want to be the better person. I always come with a different spirit. I, I don't want to be like, 
I'm a Christ, I believe in Jesus, but I don't like to say I'm a Christian because Christians have, haven't represented God well. But I want to <laughs> represent God well. I hate hypocrites. At the age of 18, I decided if I'm going to follow Jesus, I don't want to be a hypocrite. So you come with a different spirit. So why? I, I've always been a person that goes against the grain. I always see the person. In 2000, I said, God, I want to love people like you love people. Show me wow. what you see. And, and I saw you, and I saw that you have a special nature, and I thought, these people are hurting you. I didn't like mm. it. And mm. so I will stand up to a bully like you cannot believe. I've told bullies off, <laughs> like big bullies. I've told them to go and fly a cat. I don't tolerate their nonsense. I won't let yeah. it, I don't let people manipulate me and I don't like bullies and I won't tolerate their nonsense. Mm. <laughs> it it's always been something that I believe very strongly about. Yeah. I love my dad. And I love my mom, but they were spiritual bullies and I didn't like it. And mm. I'm not going to sit back and let, a, let someone bully me and I'm not going to mm. let someone bully somebody else. Who do they wow. think they are? Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's really important. And also, uh, going back, you said um, uh, head people like they they also had people and healed people they also healed people they also healed people why is it important that um if you are a healed somebody or if you know that uh you can be able to actually do some of the things better why is it important to to become that one does because well trust me you cannot change um the world in an instant, but all the stuff that well, I'm on a journey to make this world a better place than it was before I was here, one person at a time. Well, exactly. you didn't change China, you didn't change USA, you didn't change the entire South, South Africa, but you changed my world. Right now, because of that, I am at a position of going and change somebody's world. Right? So why? Is it important that um, when you feel like I can do something better here, why is it important that um, you just jump into it? Because trust me, you had no idea how was I going to respond. Maybe I was going to be like, hey, 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 lady, it's none of your business, okay? Go, go there somewhere. I had that power to actually do that. That was expected outcome, right? Or maybe I was going to be like, hey, this i don't know you know and and be, be, because i was ahead already i i think that was like day day three or four days and you you you, you came to me on day three meaning day one and day two i was all i was here like i was just done with, with everybody I, I couldn't wait for, for the event to, 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 to just finish i couldn't wait for, for, for the event to, to end but then you came to me and I that. So why is it important to take that risk, that leap of faith of you? You, you know what, God? I don't know how is it going to be because you you had no control of the outcome. You had no control of how was I going to to, to, to respond. But you just decided to, to, to do it anyway. That was a big, bold move. Ahead. That's me. I'm bold, Bronwyn. What can I say? <laughs> bold, Bronwyn. I've never known whether I'm brave or if I'm stupid, but I just take a chance. That are my chance, that are my millions. And look who we... is. Yes, yeah. Talk to me. Why is it important though to um, to just wear that that head? Um, uh... I fell off my bicycle in standard one and smashed my whole face. My hmm? two front teeth was looked like fangs. I was Dracula. It was nice. I could poke a, a bottle. You know those tinfoil bottles? I could open uh -huh. that with poking my poking it on my tooth. So it was fun. Um, so I learned to be brave then. You were very naughty. Oh my goodness. So walking yeah, but around didn't help anything. So you got always have a choice. You can be miserable or pain is optional. No, pain is inevitable, misery is optional. So 
It's your choice to be miserable or it's your choice to make a difference. So everything comes down to choice. And you can choose to be kind or you can choose to be a bully. And I always choose to be kind because there isn't enough kindness in the world. Oh, yeah. Everybody is looking for that secret formula to boost their business. Guess what? We have it. Welcome to the Kickstart Coaching Program. For just $3,997, you get 90 days of expert guidance to start, scale, or restructure your business like a pro. Coaches, authors, trainers, and online entrepreneurs, this is your chance to shine. With our program, you'll discover powerful strategies, tailored advice, and the support you need to thrive. Imagine transforming your passion into profit. Imagine turning your dreams into reality. Join the Kickstart Coaching Program now and unlock your business potential. Ready to make a change? Let's do this together. Sign up today at kickstartcoaching.com. Your future is waiting. Don't keep it waiting any longer. Oh, yeah. But also uh, talking about bold moves, right? Do you think that people simply because they they didn't take a bold move at some point or something happened back then? And right now, now that they they want to, um, to take that bold move of going to present this offer, they, they are supposed to sign this big deal. But then they, they, they keep on pulling back themselves because of what happened back then. Do, do, do you think that is still something that is still happening right now and how can people really deal with that if you may fear is a huge obstacle and a huge hindrance mm. and that was the whole purpose of trauma was to get you into a place of fear fear increases poverty but faith increases abundance so if you want an abundant life you have to get rid of fear. And that takes courage and it takes bold moves. And so, yes, I took the chance to come and talk to you. And it could have backfired and you could have said, told me to go and fly a kite or you could embrace it. But if you had told me to go and fly a kite, it would have been your loss. But because yeah. you embraced it, it became your success. So I did what was in my heart to do. I follow my heart often, all the time, actually. And if I feel that, hang on, I need to step up and come and talk to, come and talk to you, then I have to do just that. Because yeah. at the end of the day, um, I have to sleep at night. And I believe that a lot of people suffer from insomnia because they don't do what's in their heart to do. So maybe they were instructed to speak to someone like you and they didn't. So then that is playing over and over in the head. Oh, I didn't do this. I was scared. Oh, I didn't do that. I was scared. So at the end of the day, I need to be able to put my head on the pillow and close my eyes and have a good night's sleep. And for me to do that, I have to make sure that I obey the feelings that's inside me. If I see an injustice and I do nothing, then I am worse than the person that's causing the injustice. But if I see an if I see an injustice and I step up, then I've done something that helped somebody else. Because there are so many people that cannot speak up. And when you can step up and be the voice that that person needed and yeah. you can change that, not just the person that the victim, but you can also change the bully's life. And mm. that's, I mean, you can only do one life at a time. You can't do the whole world unless God gives you the platform to do the whole world. But yeah. you do what you can do and you do it well and you do it immediately then you've got no regrets. The, the whole objective to life is to have no regrets and to wow. find our purpose because why are we here? I mean, otherwise we're just chasing our tails. There's so many miserable people. It's because they don't have a purpose and the people that do have a purpose, they don't do anything about it because they haven't got the courage. They don't, they don't have the faith to step out and take a bold move. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Wow. And also one other thing as well that, that I, I might as well tell you uh, is that from, from that day, really, um, right now, well, used to, to, to easily see when people are heading, but I didn't have the boldness of either approach them. Right now, every time that I find myself either like pulling back or either battling or whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll then say to myself like, so what if Bronwyn didn't do the, the same thing to me? Where was I supposed to be right now? Because I see people heading every time. And most of the time when I notice either, uh, either a uh, behavior change or mood change or whatever, like I always ask, well, are you okay? Are you okay? And when somebody, most of the time people lie, but when you be like, hey, I know that you are not okay. Are you okay? I am fine to actually talk to you. Uh, it is, it's actually something that I have been seeing doing each and every time or, or, or most of or, 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 or the time right now. So, uh, but also the other thing that I wanted to, to, to talk to you as well is that uh, I think the approach is also important, right? But the approach is very important, creating this safe environment so that the, the other person could be okay talking to you. Let's talk about that a, a little bit. Um, how can you really create this soft environment um, uh, as you are approaching somebody trying to help them? It's very important to not do it in front of anybody else. You're not there to get a pat on the back. It's about the person that's hurting. So mm -hmm. When you know that it's not about you, because a lot of people, they want to grandstand and be seen and say, oh, wow, did you see how important I am because I help somebody. When I help somebody, I completely forget about it <laughs> immediately <laughs> afterwards. And then it's some reminding for me to, okay, now I remember. And the whole story yeah. comes back to me because it's not about getting a pat on the back. It's not about the reward. I never knew five years later that you would be interviewing me um, mm. because the intention was never to be seen. Yeah. The intention was to see you. And the intention was to make you feel safe because I could sense you were not okay. And yeah. I, I had to act quickly because you were falling off the bus and you yeah. were getting dragged behind the bus. You weren't just falling off. You were being dragged by that bus. Yeah. I didn't do something. And it was also irritating me, the sounds. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. But yeah. it's important not to judge the person. I always want to understand. Understanding is the beginning of wisdom. If you want wisdom, you have to ask for it. And so it starts with understanding the situation. So mm. I could have come in there guns glazing and said, hey, can't you control yourself? What's the matter with you, you know? But you wouldn't mm. have felt safe. You would have felt yeah. tra even more traumatized. Correct, so correct. I've, I used to be not a nice person. <laughs> there are times when I'm not a nice person and I can be... I'm very straight and upfront and personal and in your face. I have a very bad quality, but I have toned it down, luckily for you, a long time ago. <laughs> But it took a lot of work, you know. It took a lot of work to 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 to, to, to get to, to, to that. But sometimes, you know, as you mentioned that, sometimes you you just help, uh, not because you want a, a grandstanding or whatever. Sometimes we we you do things not even knowing that you are really helping somebody. Like that day, I don't think you had any idea of what you were really doing. You wanted to, to, to just understand as per where I was coming from, but you didn't know that it was going to make this huge impact. So why is it important that we are mindful of those little things that we, we do, we say, we act on, wherever we are, regardless of who you are, how old, young, rich, or, 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 or whatever you may think you're, you're, you're yourself as, why is it important to just take that time and be mindful of what you are doing? 
everything is to be done with intention and mm. it has to be full of mindfulness. You have yeah. to take care. You're messing with people's souls if you are not mindful. A person's soul is so precious and fragile and mm. you have to guard that soul because you make or break it by your yeah. words and your actions. Everything has a, a, a cause and a reaction. So if oh, yeah. you don't if you don't take care of that person, you will make them worse than they were before you spoke to them. And so I don't want to be the cause of more pain in your life or in anybody's life. I want mm -hmm. to be a source of healing. So I could know all the answers and tell you what to do. Yeah. But if I don't gently come and walk beside you and say, what do you think? And mm -hmm. show you where the, the pain started. Because mm -hmm. if you don't get to the root of the pain and the root of the cause, you can't treat the tree. You can't make you be this, take this little mustard seed, this little mustard tree, and make it into a tree that's going to feed birds and animals and give shade and everything. So we don't know what we're actually dealing with. We d All yeah. I know is we're dealing with a soul, and a soul has got the capacity to be so great. Yeah. You can stunt its growth or you can put compost and manure and feed the tree and it will be 10 times better. So yeah. that, that, that's, that's what it's all about, is taking care yeah. of your soul. And um, so from my story and our little short time encounter, do you believe that you can make or break somebody in one minute? Absolutely. I yeah. mean, you think about it only took a few seconds for someone yeah. to make you feel so small just by the look they gave you or just by yeah. a little or a pointing finger or something mm -hmm. that actually the person didn't have any connection but you felt all that negative energy coming towards yeah. you it's the energy that you feel it's not you you it's not so much the words that I said but it was the fact that I came to you in love yeah. and I cared yeah. for your that's what you wow. actually felt. That's what actually made the difference. And exactly. That's what made the difference. It wasn't so much the words I said. It was the fact that I, I took time to listen. And people don't listen these days. Everybody's so busy, 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 busy. And we need to find the silence in our minds. Otherwise, we are going to, this world is just going to die. Wow. And everybody in it is going to die. If we don't find the silence, there's so much noise coming at us from our phones, from our computers, from our minds, and all the lies that's being bombarded into our brains from when we are little, that either we're stupid or we're clever, or there's so much lies that we have to deal with. And wow. uh, we have to find silence. We have to take time to find the silence and still all the noise and find the truth because there's so much lies. Wow. 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 Thank you so much for, for, for sharing that as well. Um, you, you, you know, I'd, um, we, we could talk about this for the entire day because I know that there is a lot to unpack because this conversation have got layers and layers and layers and layers. Remember, we are healing people that suffered with things when they were five years old, when they were six years old. Um, and there are some of the little, little stupid things that just happen every time that's going to remind you of that trauma. And then it go and flash out everything back uh, 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 again. So question here, most of the trauma, like childhood trauma happens either in school, kids, they're getting bullied at home, kids, they are not receiving enough love or whatever. So I'm going to ask you one thing. 
I want you to address um, parents or, or teachers or, or, or whoever that is watching this right now. How can they really best prepare their children? How can they see? Because um, Bob Proctor once said that uh, from zero to eight years, the child does not have um, a, a conscious mind, probably wide open in the subconscious, like, like their subconscious is wide open like this. It starts close, close from around six, seven years, eight, nine, ten, but by 12, it's now a little bit close. But whatever that was put inside there is there already for life. And for you to unroot it is going to take you a lot of time of serious mind power work, right? So how can they build or break somebody, as, uh, uh, especially their children. And also the other person as well, like myself, somebody who has broken as well, what's your message to this? So, so what's your message to, to parents or, or anyone that have got access to, to a young child? And what's your message to, to the older child who is still suffering from what happened when they were young? I hope I'm making sense. I hope you can nail it in five seconds. It's a big subject, but a child is so is a sponge up until they're eight. And yeah. if we, I always said my role as a mother, because I've had I've got two grown up children girls now, and I always said that my role is to equip them for life. So I must make sure that I lead by example, not do as I say, do as I say, and not as I do. But what I do lines up with what I say. Listen to your children. The biggest mistake I made was my child was telling me that she was not happy at school. And I just said, well, suck it up and deal with it and move on. Not realizing that my child was suicidal because of all the bullying that was happening. And it was very serious. And I didn't realize it and I didn't listen enough because I grew up with the mentality, suck it up. You, you've you got no choice, but to just suck it up and move on and be bold and courageous. And that's the end of it. There's no discussion. But yeah. in today's age, we do need to take our children very seriously. We do need to listen to them. And that is key. So if your child is hurting you need to find out why. Yeah. Um, and yes, there's children that do manipulate the system and and play victim and want to um, create drama. And yeah. that is another endeavor to find out what what's going on there. Um, but most most problems are because nobody's listening to them, nobody's seeing them. So yeah. if a parent and a and a and a teacher can do, step into that role, then the the child will become a healthy child and yeah. get, and give them counselling, get them healthy, get rid of lies. There are so many lies that get put into us as little children that like, you're stupid. Yeah. Are you clumsy? You're not enough. You're always in the way. All those kind of lies, they play on a person's psyche. And then when they get old, it's very hard to uproot those unconscious lies because yeah. we, we hinder our own growth because we keep focusing on what our parents said. And Sometimes the parents are just in a bad space and angry. Like my mom said, what do you think? Do you think you can change the world? And <laughs> that used to, and under my breath, I'd say, yes, I do. But, and, and then like I used to love to play, just play on the piano. And she'd say, you're making a noise. And she was just having a bad day. And then. One day she came into my house and I was playing my keyboard and she said, what is this music? Because I don't follow, I do follow music sometimes, but most times I just play. And um, she said, this, it's so beautiful. And then you think to yourself, if my mother hadn't been so short with me, or if I'd actually had the courage to just play, who knows where I would have ended up. So 
Mm. If something's in, so for the older people, if something's in you, like you don't know what it is, but you just want to play the keyboard, you just want to play the piano, but you've never had lessons or whatever, just bite the bullet and take courage and be bold and learn yeah. to play the because at a very young age we already discover we're already playing with things that actually will make us wealthy because yeah. the kingdom of God is within us and he has given us the ability to make wealth he get it's it's put in us from such from birth from be before birth before the creation of the world we were given mm. our destiny so mm. um but we get told oh no you must be a doctor you must be uh, a scientist and we pursue something that isn't who we were created to be and then we can't understand why we're unhappy why we are struggling to make ends meet because we didn't listen to who we were created to be. Yeah. I used to take all my teddy bears and stack them up and preach to them. So there's things that, that we do when we are kids and actually it's it's actually clues to who we are supposed to be in our future. Wow. So wow. if we can think of lies and find the truth, then we can find the ability to get wealth. Wow. Wow. So whatever you do, if you don't find the truth, you're going to hurt yourself and you will not get the wealth that you are looking for. Brownie, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you taking time and talking to me. I know this was supposed to be just 30 minutes, but look where we are right now. It's almost an hour talking more and more about helping people and what they can do with their own lives. Please, guys, I encourage you to follow her and reach out to her as well. There are links in the show notes. So reach out to her. Talk to her. Well, who knows? She might be able to also help you as she helped me. Well, she said that, uh, well, she used to, eat, like, like she, she can really stand up for her bullets. Well, guys, if you want a bodyguard, <laughs> she can, she's going to donor them for you. Well, I'm joking. I'm joking. But thank you so much for changing my life. I know that you had no idea that this is exactly what you were doing, but my life has never been the same again. I'm so grateful, very, very grateful uh, uh, about everything you have done for me. Please, guys, I'm also going to do uh, some, 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 some links as well um, uh, to her business. Uh, she, she have got her, her business as well, Mrs. Delivery. Yeah, well, can you tell me a little bit about it? Okay, so I started Miss Delivery in 2000, and then that was given to me in my hands when I was in Hootsprite, and then I forgot about it and moved to the South Coast, and I was fired from three jobs after one month each of arriving in South Coast, um, just because of the, um, yeah, and then um, I thought to myself, well, I've got Mrs. Delivery. Let me start yeah. that. A week before I was fired from the last job, I had the whole business plan in my head. And mm. it, with no finances, I couldn't develop an app and I couldn't get the delivery guys. Well, I did try all this stuff. But when you open your mind to different possibilities, it attracts, with, and you do it with gratitude, it attracts mm. the solution to you. So now I'm bringing a delivery service to the South Coast um, that is exactly my business model that I designed in my mind two and a half years ago. And it is it has an app, it has drivers, and all I gotta do is sign up merchants and drivers and um customers, and there we have a huge delivery service that's is like none of the other services because they don't charge as much and there's no yeah. monthly fee to the for the merchant so mm -hmm. it is such a brilliant thing that i could never have designed but it came wow. to me because 
God gave this business to me in 2000, but I only actually grabbed hold of it now. Wow. So we just got to look at what's in our hands and in our minds. And if we are honest with ourselves and we just, what I did in 2021 is I just listed all the opportunities, everything I wanted in a journal. Mm. I, I started this journal and it, it, I actually saw that this journal that had like manifesting powers yeah. and the keys that I've been given to change my life. I mean, I was a single mom for 22 years. and Well, I've been single for 22 years. And 22 years ago, my life was hopeless. I had no money, nothing. And now my life is actually looking like I could have an abundant life. But it's yeah. all to change your mindset. The mind is the where the battle is and yes. many people have said that in many different ways but it really is and i've been learning techniques that are mind-blowing and christians they tend to close their minds to these techniques because they don't know that it's actually written in the bible and everything to jesus yeah i mean there's so much truth and we just miss it because we just think oh that's new age or this is this and this is that and we actually close our minds off to yeah. all the possibilities that are out there yeah wow wow ah uh, thank you so much yes guys you have heard about her, her business mrs delivery so this is mostly in south africa so to to all of you watching from south africa Please, I'm gonna link. I'm actually gonna put all of the links as well in the in the in the show notes. Please do check and follow her. So support her for me because she changed my life. If she didn't do that, well, I don't know if I was gonna be here doing exactly what I am doing to today. Because what was I gonna do? What was I gonna use? My voice? Because I was not talking back then because of all those things. But she she literally helped me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Bronwyn. I love you so much. And, uh, and thank you for, for your being who you are. Um, uh, thank you for, for, for creating time to also come here and actually share all your this as well. I, I, I know that I didn't brief you about what we are going to, to talk about because I wanted this conversation to, to be as natural as possible. So thank you so much for, for, for creating time. And please, don't, don't just, just do this to me alone. I would like you to go and do this to another third person, 40 person, 50 person, 60 person until you change this world. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you and having you in my life. Thank you, Monia. It's been a pleasure and an honor. Thank you so much. Really All right, then. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, then. Thank you so much, everybody, for, for, for watching. Hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Mr. M. Mr. Jonko, wonderful time working with Mr. G. Mr. M. Jungle, and he is a 10x person. Uh, I love your energy. He just go like boom, 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 boom. It's amazing. I always love the way this man carries himself with dignity and respect. <laughs>